In this video, we are going to install Oedro's 23 inch tri roll LED bar. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Greg, and in this channel, I create product reviews, mods, install guides of cool car accessories and gadgets. It is made of high quality aluminum alloy, which is waterproof and anti corrosive. It's rated at IP67, waterproof and dustproof. Comes with these adjustable brackets up to 45 degrees, stainless steel nuts, bolts, and washers. Three rows of LEDs with a 30 degree angle of spot and flood combo beams. Aluminum housing with a fin style heat sink for faster heat dissipation. Produces up to 43,000 400 lumens. Color temperature is 60K kelvins, pure white. Working temperatures are between negative 40 and 85 degrees Celsius. It comes with your wiring harness, which is compatible with any lighting accessory up to 300 watts. Heavy duty 14 gauge wiring covered in waterproof thermoplastic PVC jacket. It's nine foot long with a 30 amp blade fuse 12 volt 40 amp relay and an on and off illuminated switch if you're interested in this product i'm gonna leave the product link in the description below so first i want to mount these brackets i'm gonna go ahead and use the outer ones washer bolt and the nut underneath. Next, you want to position the light and put these two screws in here. Now that I got it in, I want to go ahead and make my placement. Looks like I would like it the furthest back as possible. Next, you want to align these to these slots here. Okay, now that that's aligned, you want to get your washer and your nut. and just hand tighten it, all four. Now that I got how I want it angled, I pulled the whole screw out and that way I can tighten this one as it's hard to reach with it mounted on. So I got my angle, pulled the, brack, the whole bracket out and then go, went ahead and tightened the screws. Then you mount the whole thing back together, make sure everything is nice and centered. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, wire this. I'm gonna go ahead and feed it through the grill, the front grill, and in to my engine bay. You wanna get yourself some automotive wire. I got a 16 gauge, which we're gonna run through here behind the radiator and into our switch assembly. I'm not going to use the wiring harness as I already have a switch box in the vehicle. So I ran the wire underneath this air intake 
you want to make sure it does not touch the radiator so you want to reach in here and make sure you're, you zip tie it and it'll come down through here and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, connect some terminals on the other end all right now I got the terminals connected we're gonna go ahead and plug them in Now we go ahead and uh, open up our switch control box and I'm going to go ahead and connect it to spot number one. First we connect the positive. Then the negative. And we're done. Here's your end result. Nice and clean. It does bounce around just a little. Let's go ahead and uh, turn it on. There it is on. to subscribe to my channel and I'll bring you more videos just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.